Uh, hey, uh, sorry for the delay with new videos, but I was really busy with my work and with my project. So for now, I don't have really enough free time uh, to produce uh, f more frequently uh, new videos. Sorry about this, but I think I will try to change. Uh, a little bit of the format of uh, new videos and I think uh, I will have uh, time to create more uh, videos, small videos uh, like uh, tricks and tips uh, like this one. Um, I, I want to thank a lot uh, all my patrons uh, last year. Uh, I'm very appreciated for your support. Unfortunately, I don't have uh, a lot new videos, but I will try to do something new uh, this year too. So if you are uh, interested, you can check my uh, Patreon page, uh, will be the link in description. And I want to share with you guys my project that I'm working on. Uh, it's called Skated. It's uh, the skateboarding game and it's uh, at the stage of pre-production for now. So I'm a lot of experimenting with uh, animation and basically the idea uh, what I want to do with this project in future. But if you are interested in such thing you can subscribe and uh, I will put some new stuff here, and some news and updates if you want to follow. Uh, very welcome. And I think in future uh, I will try to create uh, some uh, materials breakdowns. For example, the materials you can see here, uh, uh, those are all done in uh, Substance uh, Designer. Uh, so yeah, I have plans to do breakdowns from from my project too. So let's come back uh, to our substance uh, designer material. Uh, so as you can see uh, those are simple cracks and what I want to do today is to uh, describe why you need uh, those small uh, personal generators uh, for your uh, substance designer material pipeline. So a lot of uh, time you will need to create uh, materials really fast in production and of course you don't want to uh, create cracks or different other stuff from scratch every time. Sometimes it's fun. If you have time I really recommend you to do uh, so because uh, every time you will create some something new looking cracks. Uh, but if you really uh, restrict it with the time, I'll recommend you to create uh, your own uh, library with uh, generators. For example, you can create rocks, stones, cracks, uh, different scratches and so on. So basically uh, those are your tools and you can use those really fast in your production. And you can see you can uh, more uh, take your time on albedo for example or roughness uh, while you created your uh, height map and uh, maybe other maps really fast using those uh, generators. So this uh, uh, generator I'm using for cracks uh, basically uh, it's uh, it's giving me the full variety of different cracks and I can uh, mix a little bit in uh, my primary graph uh, so I can mix with other stuff with uh, those cracks but overall uh, this is what I need basically. <coughs> Sorry for the word basically <laughs> but it's my habit I will try to uh, to say this word a little bit uh, less. Let's see uh, how this graph is created. I will briefly show you guys and girls. So I'm using tile sampler with those parameters. You can 
pause the video and check all the settings. Uh, as you can see, uh, some parameters are exposed and uh, to expose the parameter you just need to click uh, to this uh, like graphic sinusoid and uh, click to expose. After uh, Substance Designer uh, will create the window and ask you how uh, you want to name the parameter to expose. So basically those uh, parameters are uh, used uh, in other graphs to control uh, all the uh, settings uh, in the nodes. So, for example, from other graph you can control how the cracks are uh, tiling or the size of cracks and etc. So basically I created uh, the uh, parameters for position random, offset and x and y amount. So with a uh, tile sample I'm using uh, levels together and just increased uh, or decrease uh, the levels of those uh, balls uh, and it is helping me to create a different variety in distance so let's try maybe this and this Uh, really useful stuff and of course um, you can uh, change x and y amount uh, and uh, the uh, style of and amount of cracks will be changed too. So we're using here distance node and distance node is providing for us uh, straight lines but obviously we don't want this effect and uh, the next step I creating some uh, variety in edges and uh, recently I discovered uh, this method because mm, a lot of people are doing uh, the edges of cracks uh, are soft and uh, I was looking how I can uh, improve this method and I really like uh, these uh, rocky edges and more uh, hard lines so it's uh, creating more uh, realistic uh, look of rocks and the effect I got here uh, it is coming from the generator uh, clouds uh, I increased uh, double size of it and uh, next step I increased really high to create uh, some abstract uh, noise uh, and the idea here is if you are using uh, this uh, size of noise it will create um, small uh, uh, deformations obviously if you are using a uh, slow blur grayscale it will create really small uh, noisy uh, cracks and variety but if you want to create uh, big shapes and I recommend you to start from the big shapes always because uh, if you will produce a lot of small details in your material without uh, big uh, blobby shapes uh, it will be too noisy and hard to concentrate uh, the eyes on your material so work from big stuff to the small stuff it really, it really uh, help you to uh, create believable material so that's why I'm using here the huge uh, size of the clouds one so when I increase the size uh, it's not it's, uh, you see it's not tileable so to remove the uh, so to create 
this uh, texture tileable. I'm using make it tile footer uh, with uh, those parameters, and you can see it's tiling perfectly. So the next step is before slow blur grayscale. I blur. Uh, so basically, in slow uh, blur grayscale, you have two inputs: uh, one grayscale and one slope. And uh, for the grayscale, I'm using uh, transformed um, clouds one and blurred with those settings. And for the slope, I'm using uh, this node. And I have this effect, and if you sorry and if you check it in normal map let's try it you see I got some uh, hard uh, deformations uh, and it's looking more like rocky uh, surface that's why That's why I'm using this uh, noise to directional warp my uh, distance node. And, uh, and you see those variety of edges, it's uh, more or less looking more organic and more hard edge like stones. So the next step is edge detect. I just got the e uh, edges in between those grayscale uh, shapes. I blurred those because those one are too harsh and those are really nice and soft shapes. As I described, uh, I got uh, big shapes and after I can work with small details so if you check you see those small variations on edges and those I got from a slow blur, a blur scale with the input of again clouds one and blur it, it a little bit. So I got those uh, small uh, cracks on edges. Really nice effect. So th you see here, here, nice looking edges. And afterwards, Let's see overall the difference. Uh, I'm using uh, directional warp to create uh, like the one uh, flow directional uh, because if you look uh, on the cracks, they are not too random. Uh, they can follow some forms on the surface. That's why I'm creating uh, some you see this is more uh, like a generic uh, looking uh, cracks like cracks everywhere but those uh, directions path is creating a more organic look I think so uh, I'm creating so basically this is uh, our height map and uh, I'm creating ambient occlusion from it and put it inside our uh, base material. So when you are creating a uh, generator, uh, at the end you need to have base material with all uh, maps. So here I have albedo, normal map, roughness, metallic, ambient occlusion, and height. And when you create base material, 
uh, so to switch on those inputs in case if you don't know you need to go to the bottom uh, in the settings of base material and create and uh, put on height height map for example ambient occlusion or uh, well, for the generators, as soon as you just need uh, as the output only height map and uh, sometimes maybe normal map, but it will produce automatically in base material uh, and uh, ambient occlusion you need to produce by yourself. Uh, all other maps are uh, not necessary, uh, but if you want to create roughness, uh, you can do it too. But sometimes I'm doing. Uh, it's it's really depends. For example, if you create uh, scratches or rocks or stones, uh, it's it's good to have in one generator uh, the roughness uh, texture. But I recommend you to make this graph uh, really simple because uh, uh, it's like it's more like a tool so if you want to add some stuff later it's possible in your main graph so we created this uh, generator and I will quickly show you how I'm using it in my uh, other asphalt uh, stylized material so you see for example here I'm using this uh, generator cracks O1 it is uh, calling the same as the graph and to use it uh, in your uh, material you just uh, click on the graph and drag and drop to your main graph and you have a normal map height map and AO and if you click on the graph you see those exposed parameters so you can manipulate those and get different results really nice so the main idea so the main idea uh, sorry. So, uh, so the main idea here is to use as much uh, generators as you uh, can in your main graph, because it's really increase your overall workflow and production time. Because uh, as soon as you uh, can create uh, uh, a lot of uh, well, the basically idea behind this is uh, when you are creating new graph uh, and you, for example, need to create um, ten uh, different walls with uh, stones, for example, or uh, uh, rocks. Uh, if you have your uh, generator for rock. Uh, you can again create uh, a lot of variety and really and and you can uh, prototype much faster of new material instead of you sit down and start from scratch to create uh, again the each uh, rock. Uh, uh, sometimes uh, the rocks must be really specific and you. Uh, don't have uh, the generator uh, in your library for uh, this specific rock. In this case, uh, I recommend you to come back to your original uh, generator of the rock and try to experiment or create the uh, another variation and uh, other expose uh, expose new parameters because. Uh, next time when you need to create something like this you already will have 
uh, this rock instead of go to the old material uh, take some nodes and mix in other uh, graph so it will create just another mess and you will spend so much time for the work uh, that you already did and obviously in production time it's uh, it's like just a waste of time so I think uh, it's a really useful tip and I hope your guys uh, like it uh, and uh, I will quickly show how mm, I was uh, applied this generator this is like the default look but of course you need to work on it a little bit to blend uh, uh, in the material so you can see it's blending here nice basically it's just uh, the cracks on the asphalt stylized material so the steps are here uh, so I just rotated it in 90 degrees for the variety and blend uh, with the Perlin noise and leveled uh, it a little bit to just break down the repetition because the cracks are not flowing in reality like this they are just appearing and disappearing on the surface so this trick will help you to break uh, it uh, apart uh, and create more uh, r random look so this is mask I was used using to uh to like uh, create more clack uh, uh crack sorry uh at the edge of the road and i blend this it's a really subtle effect but you can see that in the middle cracks are uh, less visible uh yeah and that's it and after I applied this uh, height map uh, to the main uh, to the main height map, this is my rough stuff, roughness stuff. So you see the difference. So that's it, guys uh, and girls. It it was a quick one. But uh, yeah, I will try to do some new stuff like this, maybe some small tips and tricks uh, that is useful for your production workflow to increase your speed because yes, I know uh, creating uh, materials in substance designers may uh, take a lot of time and you need to create those quickly. So we need to use all the tricks we can uh to produce uh, our materials much faster thanks for your time and uh, i hope it was useful and see you in the next one have a nice day bye